Hi, welcome to another edition of 23code.com. I am your host, Ray Ray Star. We're here today with uh, Jeff Dawson at uh, Mushroom Studios. Jeff here is a fantastic producer and engineer. And, uh, you know, what What we'd like to know is a little bit of this. How did you come into this position of doing what you're doing? Well, I think uh, I was in bands when I was younger. And uh, I always, when we went to the studio, ended up kind of producing the ba my band's demos or records or whatever, not really knowing what I was, you know, not really knowing that that's what I was doing, but sort of figuring it out and being really hands-on from day one of being in the studio. So as... Uh, you know, time went on, I just, it seemed like a natural thing and I was having more fun being in the studio than I was playing in bands and, and, uh, and that, so I just obviously made the, made the jump over to this. Right. Did the, uh, you fall through your schooling or is this something more like, uh, self-taught? <coughs> uh, mostly self-taught. I did take, like a, a year, I think of, it was a year of, of engineering, um, at a school just basically for the engineering part of it, not for the production side of it, but just sort of to get, learn the gear a little bit more and get, you know. The knowledge of, of that right, right and I guess uh, you know working with in other bands and stuff that kind of gave you a, <coughs> a flavor and a taste for production yeah I mean it was good because I was in you know the bands that I was in I was able to sort of guinea pig them right you know or my own stuff and and sort of be hands-on with my own bands and learn that way until you know and then when paying clients came I sort of knew everything and <coughs> we're not everything I'm still learning but uh, you know, got to, you know, basically, use, like I said, use my band as a guinea pig and, and right. get better in, in, at what I was doing as far as the engineering side goes and as production, obviously, too. Right. One thing I'd like to ask you is, you know, like for a lot of the viewers at home there, um, maybe you can mention, you know, some of the acts that you have worked with. Uh, acts that I've worked with. I've worked with State of Shock, uh, Daniel Powder, Holly McDarland, Marcy Playground, The Dudes, one of my favorite bands. Doing well right now. Kira, Tal Bachman. I've engineered for um, uh, Nas and Ryan Tedder. Worked with Garth Richardson. Mike Fraser, obviously not an artist, but great. He mixes a lot of my stuff that I do. Um, yeah, I mean. So, do you get involved much in the end of the mixing, or do uh, you you're just more focused well, I'm, on getting the tracks in there? Yeah, I, I don't. I mi I do mix. So, I mean, I'm act, I'm act today mixing today, and so there's. Certain things that I like to mix and certain things that I do that I don't like to, you know, not that I don't like to mix, I just feel that somebody else can do a better job. Right. You know, like rock stuff or whatever, you know, Mike is amazing at it and, and whatnot. So, I mean, some of the more popular, poppy stuff I'll do. Yeah. Um, I think my mixing style is a little closer to that, you know, but when it comes to rock, Mike's definitely the god. And then when, <coughs> what about like uh, for mastering, do you get involved in mastering at all or do you no. farm that out? No, I send, yeah, I send everything, well not everything, to, I mean budget dependent of course, uh, but most, you know, 97% of my stuff goes to a guy named Adam Ann out of Gateway Mastering in Portland, Maine on the East Coast. Okay. You know, you're paying for a great cake, why ch cheap out on the icing? Right. So. Right, right. Yeah. Now, uh, the other thing, maybe you just want to... Um, talk about too you're also you started out the Vancouver music industry yes it wasn't wasn't me on my it was myself Mike Fraser and Johnny Phillip on the drummer from State of Shock one day had this idea of getting everyone together to play golf because none of us have the time to you know hang out and, and play so to speak so we started one and then it's just grown into this massive fundraiser for Sarah McLaughlin Music Outreach and also Music BC we raise money for them so it's become a two-day event and it's a lot of fun right and this year it's on July 27th to 28th Get your tickets at www.vancouvermusicindustry.com. <laughs> Shameless promotion. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Wait, now, uh, this is going into the fifth year now. Uh, we are in the fifth year, yes. Yeah, wow, that's excellent. So yeah. it's obviously uh, growing. And it quite keeps growing and growing and growing, so it's uh, it's become a premier event, I think, here in Vancouver. So wow. it's a lot of fun. We get a lot of a lot of people come out, a lot of good stuff we auction off, and it's about you know raising some money for some kids so that they can play music. That's excellent. Yeah. That's excellent. Well, thanks, Jeff. Thank I you. Appreciate being yeah, on the no show. Problem. Another appreciate edition it, of Twenty Three Cove. Thanks. Yeah.